Hello everyone, my name is Shamira, aka Mimi. If you are new, welcome to my channel. If you are returning, welcome back. So today, you guys, I'm going to do a pick a card video. I have three options, okay? And it is going to be on who is your crush, okay? So you guys, usually I pick my cards, you know, pre-shuffle and everything else and have my different piles, but I'm going to freestyle today, okay, you guys? Now, um, let's get right to it, okay? We're going to start on pile one. I didn't mean to... Uh, I was shuffling to, you know, reorganize my decks and everything, but I was shuffling when I was listening to the, listening to the channel song for Paul One, okay? Um, and this is, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, don't come for me, you guys. If I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, you know, correct me, okay? Um, the more to your right, the more to your right, okay? And that is 21 and 2 plus 1 is 3, of course, you guys. And threes are all about, you know, celebration, the collaborations, okay? Community coming together. Now, this person who has a crush on you could be from your um, neighborhood, okay? They could live somewhere down the street from you. Or maybe someone you run into, you know, uh, like in passing. Like they, they are at your favorite uh, coffee shop or your favorite place to eat, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing as someone who is surrounded by you, um, maybe on a daily basis, okay? Maybe even work, all right? But I can definitely tell this person, um, I'm seeing the purples, okay? I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm seeing the purples. And this person is really, um, you know, introverted. I can see a little introverted, okay? A little shy. Um, I wouldn't say timid. I just would say... Um, Look how, look how the spirit, I don't know if you guys can see it. Look how the spirit is watching. Like, I see you. You're not going to come over here and talk to me today. You don't want to taste this muffin today. <laughs> Maybe it's the person who works at the shop that you get your coffee from. Um, it's someone who watches you a lot, you know. As someone that stands in the corner, you know, the type of uh, person who stands in the corner that you would never uh, pay attention to. You know, the really quiet ones. Um, this person is an introvert, but they're not introverted because um, they're timid. They're they they're just uh, sensitive enough to soak up everyone's energy. Okay, so if they feel that you're in a bad mood, um, you know they're in a bad mood. They don't really know what's going on with you. They want to get to know why. You know, like why are you so sad today? Usually they come in here, get their coffee, get their you know. They're their the turkey sandwich and they're happy. I wonder what's going on with them. And because you won't, you know, open up to them or you don't notice them, they get kind of um I don't know, like sad. Like um they're they're never gonna find out I I'm in love with them, you know. This person is like totally in love with you, okay? <laughs> all right, all right, Paul One. And you guys, the, the channel message, channel song that I got for this uh, pile was a four-page letter by Aaliyah, you know? I'm writing you a four-page letter. See? And they'll close it with a kiss. See, this person is so romantic. Like, they're like a hopeless romantic, you know, like that nerdy uh, guy or girl who stands in the corner and has a, a crazy crush, okay? Or the jock, okay, or, or or the popular girl, or the cheerleader, <laughs> or the 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 honcho at work, okay. Yes, yes, I definitely can see that this person is like that, okay. So really think hard, and like look back on that the strange person who is extra nice to you, okay. That strange, uh, that stranger who is super nice to you. They probably have like the worst crush on you who are too afraid to tell you, okay? So you guys, I'm gonna shuffle on camera and I'm gonna choose from four decks, okay? And that's gonna be my Zodiac deck, okay? My Zodiac, um, my Unicorn deck, and also a little bit of Tarot, okay? So let's get started. I'm gonna pull from this, okay? So we can see who this person is, how they are, all right? Okay, wow. Okay. These two cards flipped over. Should I just reshuffle? That was for a reason, you guys. I'm seeing um I got Scorpio, okay? And that is eight. Eighth house is all about uh mystery, okay? Mystery of life. Um the unseen, the unknown. And also they got they got some uh, platonic um energy, all right? Because Scorpio is both up, I think it's Mars. 
But some people say Pluto, you know, some people say Mars. I really have to dive deep into that and fully check that out to let you guys know. But I'm definitely seeing the Scorpio vibes, okay? Remember when I saw the purples, like the indigos? It's more like uh, intuition, okay? Um, really sensitive to energies. And so, so are Scorpios, okay? Their water signs are really uh, in, in tune with the energies of other people and feelings of, of other people, okay? So maybe this person is a Scorpio or a Scorpio moon, okay? I'm, I'm seeing that. I don't know why I'm seeing the moon. But they definitely have some Scorpio dominant placements in their chart, okay? They're like secretly stalking you on Facebook, okay? Or Insta or any social media platform, you know? Like, I want to know why they're upset today. Maybe they're upset because uh, you know, their, their brother and sister, they had a fight with their brother. This is a person who knows so much about you based off of, um, just them asking for your name or them seeing your name. Maybe the, they're the barista who sees your name on the coffee cup and then they, they, they look at you, they develop this crush and have a whole, uh, you know, they have a whole interaction with you in their mind and, um, they start stalking you on social media after seeing your name, that's that's all people need sometimes is your name to really go crazy, okay? Let, allow their emotions to run wild. Um, and the reason why I'm seeing social media, you guys, because I have Virgo, and Virgo is like the sixth six house, okay? The sixth zodiac. Virgos are really uh, great with communication, okay? Um, really analytical uh, and observant, okay? When it comes to detail, they see the smallest details in your in changes within um, sometimes any surrounding all right they're really meticulous when it comes to finding out things and that's why i say social media stalking okay <laughs> they're finding out everything you would never know they have a crush on you because they have a great poker face okay maybe they are the type of person who can get away with doing things and no one ever notices them okay the sneakiness and, you know some people say that scorpios are really sneaky but this person is definitely smart okay intelligent they really uh, are meticulous in the way they go about obtaining information about you, you know? So they probably create fake accounts, you know, under females' names if you're a, a woman or what were you into, okay? Um, under different names, you know, trying to figure things out and figure out why you're in the type of uh, mood you're in, okay? I definitely see this. I'm definitely seeing this, okay? And also Mercury is the ruler of... Uh, Gemini, Gemini and Virgo, and that is about fast communication. So I'm definitely seeing internet, okay? Internet stalking. They're like, I want to see how this person really is feeling today. Did I make their coffee wrong today? <laughs> or someone at work? But I'm definitely getting it's, it's someone within your community, okay? Maybe it's your nosy ass neighbor. They see how many packages you're getting. Like, I'm going to send those packages. You go ahead and stalk their. Uh, <laughs> It's on social media see they post it <laughs> i can just see okay so yeah unicorns unicorns what else can you tell us about this person who has a question on how one i want this flew right out okay okay you guys sanctuary yeah okay you guys i'm seeing that when this person goes home when they're home and alone by themselves they probably stalk your page and stalk your uh social media like I said, to try to figure out things about you. Um, that is the time when they can, they're allowed to uh, imagine how it would be to be with you, okay? They they go within when they're all alone and probably look at all, all of your posts and videos and, you know, read every person that's commenting, that's liking, like, oh, I mean, damn, they're going to walk right in. And then they're, they start following uh, the people who comment on your posts and things like that. This person, like, it's a trip, okay? Take time out from the world and spend more time alone, meditate and retreat. Yeah, this person is really in tune with themselves. Maybe they um they definitely meditate on things before they uh before they take action, but they, they also love being alone. And sometimes that isolation can cause them to do some um a lot of soul searching and, and, and digging for information on themselves, not only themselves but other people, okay, that they're interested in. And um it can sometimes turn into an, an obsession, okay? I'm not saying this person is, you know, is crazy, but they they would like to get to know you um, before they invest 
their self will reflect they um take action because like i said back to the virgo okay virgos are really great at uh you know before they may take action they, they, they like to think okay before they act all right it was another word for it, but you guys, but I, I don't know. I, I got, got kind of off track. What was that word? What is the word? It's almost at the tip of my tongue, okay? Like I said, they're analytical, observant, but um, strategic, okay? They're a strategist, all right? They want to get to know who you are, how you are, and uh, what you're all about before they decide, okay, I'm going to go for this person. Because if you seem like you're a really mean person or uh, someone who can... Um, expose them for who they are. They're not going to approach you, okay? So maybe this crush is um, taking their time um, because they are really in tune with their emotions, you know, their hearts. They're a really gentle person. I can definitely see that. But they have a, a little bit of obsession. Um, and sometimes it can kind of cause them to uh, want to engage more in, in their own fantasy in their head rather than... Uh, approach you in real life or rather to to to, then to see how it will play out in real life they're like well in real life they're probably gonna you know uh reject me so right now i'm gonna keep stalking them and i'm gonna do this and sometimes if they get too stuck in the fantasy world um i'm surprised you know i didn't pull neptune if they get too stuck in the fantasy world um it can cause them to they can stifle themselves okay it can cause them to be even more isolated and um not want to communicate with other people, you know, not want to interact with other people. Maybe they have some form of social anxiety, okay? So like I said, think back to that person, that, that person who was overly nice to you, but uh, barely says two words to you. And if you said something to them, they're like lighting up. Their eyes are like lighting up. <laughs> they're getting extra happy, big smiles, um, always watching you, okay? Yeah, you guys, it's crazy. <laughs> Say you guys, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Okay, I'm not crazy. What did I tell you guys, Paul One? I got um, this is the King of Swords. Okay, and King of Swords is about communication. You know, I'm a person who is able to communicate uh, effectively and efficiently. They're a king. You know, um, like I said, right now your crush is kind of um, trying to make a decision if they should stay. If they should approach you or not, like, should I stay in my little fantasy world, continue to stalk them, or should I just approach them, okay? And I also got um, the hermit, you guys. <laughs> and the hermit is all about going within, okay? Isolation. Virgo, you guys. The hermit is all about that Virgo. This person is a Virgo, okay, with some Scorpio placements, or they're a Scorpio with some Virgo placements, but they're a, a great um, strategist, okay? Yes, they're like contemplating, like, should I just message them or DM them? Let me go look some more and see what kind of mood they're in, you know? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, Paul oh, One. Your your crush is absolutely um, thorough, all right? A thorough person. So if you kind of know who this is, um, leave a comment. Let me know who this is. Or, you know, I want to know. I'm nosy. I want to know. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, you guys, for that. Before I leave you guys, um, this person thinks that you're really hot, okay? They probably think that you have a lot of suitors. Ooh. And I'm saying that because I hear the sirens, you know? And when I hear the sirens, I have a fire department uh, right down from me, okay? So they could really think you're hot, okay? They're like, this person is so damn sexy. I'm so scared they're going to reject me. I'm so scared they might have a person. They're trying to look and see if you guys are already taken, okay? Oh, my goodness. They're trying to see if you guys are in a relationship. Wow. So, yes. Yes, Paul One. This person. Look, if you think you know who this person is, um, you know, let them know. Let it, let it be clear that you're, you're not taken, okay? Um, I don't know. Post, post that you're single. I don't know. <laughs> post that you're looking for a bae. I, I don't know. But I'm definitely seeing this person is um very thorough before they decide they want to take action or anything. Uh, they were they get all, all the all the facts and details right before they approach you, okay? So be gentle with them, but definitely make things clear, okay? 
make things a little bit easier. But if this person wants to continue to start stalk you, I mean, they'll never know if they don't ever approach you. So yeah, yeah, yes, hot one. So you hot one. If you like this, please hit that like button, okay? And if you would like to um comment, okay, your feedback is definitely welcome. And also subscribe so you can get more pick card videos like this one. Um, you know, and I also upload you guys on every Sunday and Wednesday as advice videos, okay? So, and also, you guys, um, if you're interested in checking out any crystals, oh my gosh, those, those things, Paul, when I have to go, um, <laughs> I am so sorry, Paul, when it must be a really bad fire, okay? This burning, this person is burning hot with passion for you, okay? So, please clear things up, let them know before I go. If you guys are interested in Checking out any crystals, okay? Like this one. Um, also, amethyst is really good for this pile too. Um, it, it, it gets you to tune into your intuition, okay? Check out my shop, and that's heavenly, heavenly by Goddess B. Everything will be in the description box below this video, okay, Paul? But I'm so sorry, this is so long. I suppose it had been like at least 12 minutes, but. Hey, I, I got the information. I'll let you guys know. So yes, Paul one. If you resonated with this, um, yeah. Then hit the like button, subscribe, <laughs> comment, all right? <laughs> and if it didn't, feel free to pick another pile, okay? So until next time, mwah, bye. Okay, welcome pile two. So pile two, this will be on who has a crush on you. And you guys, if you hear any sirens, it's, I think it's a fire down for me somewhere. I am so sorry, all right? I'm going to apologize in advance because it is so loud. And um, this is a freestyle reading, okay? I'm just going to pull from um, four decks, actually. I'm going to pull from the crystal deck, get their, their uh, energy. Um, I'm also going to pull from my zodiac deck, my unicorn deck, and some tarot, okay? So we can go into figure out who this person is. I got three cards, but that is too many. I just need one spirit. I just need one. My little ring is coming on. I just need one spirit. Okay, I got two. I don't know. It's like I'm meant to get more videos. All right. I see a baby is nice. So you guys, off the bat, it was meant for me to get two. I got Lepis Lazuli. Okay, and that's thirty. This is three. All right, in numerology, we do set down to three. <laughs> okay, I feel this pile is my number. My pile number twos are always a little nasty. Okay, and then I got hematite. All right, and this is twenty six and two plus six. The numerology is eight, and eights are all about fruition. Okay, so this person is trying to manifest you. Okay, this person is like doing everything they can to reel you in, pull you in. All right, this crush is. Just a second, you guys. Oh, my goodness. I might have to pause this. Give me a few, you guys. This is so rude. And I know things happen. I okay, it's, it's gone. It's gone. Okay, I'm not going to pause it. So already. I'm sorry, Pal 2. So, Pal 2. I'm looking at this love piece, Lazuli, right? <laughs> And I see it. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to get. Okay. I don't. I don't want to make this person seem like a bad person. But when I see this right here, it's so big. It makes me think of the male. You know, the male. You know what? All right. It looks like a pee pee. Okay. I'm gonna say that because I'm trying not to be too, you know, vulgar on these videos. Okay. But um, yeah, I'm getting. Excuse my language. F boy energy. F boy. F girl energy. Um. This person definitely uh, don't mind playing games, okay, to try to manifest you. Uh, maybe taking uh, thirst trap picks and, and tagging you in it. Um, I feel like this is a, this is a person that you kind of know. You, know, I think you know this person. All right, this crush. And I don't mean they. I mean, I, uh, I, mm -mm. I don't, let me let me finish. Uh, Shuffling so I can get you know, you guys. The channel song for this pal is Love by um, by what's her name, Keisha Cole. Okay, Keisha Cole never knew what I was missing, yeah. But I knew when we started kissing, I found love. This sounds like a person who is delusional, you know, who is like, 
because who really finds love when they kiss someone? You know, you kiss someone, it's just a kiss. You don't just fall in love because you kiss someone. Of course, some people feel like that, but I feel like this person has a uh, distorted perception of what love is. All right, we may think that chick they can reel you in or make you fall in love by giving you the PP, okay? By giving you the ween, the ween ween, PP, whatever you want to call it, okay? The peen, I don't know, <laughs> okay? Or the JJ. Maybe they think, okay, if I throw this at them, you know, I can um, make them fall in love with me. This is a person that, that do not uh, mind playing mind games with you, okay? I don't even think this is a crush. I think this is like um, a person who is, uh, I don't know, fish, fishing for more uh, supply. Like I said, uh, uh no. Nah. Something is telling me I was, mm, let me pull from this first, okay? I'm going to pull from the Zodiac deck so I can see this person, okay? How to, I don't really like this person. I don't like this person, you know? Maybe you like this person, but um, this person is definitely a little um, delusional. They'll tell you anything like, I found love in you, one kiss. Whole time, they probably tell three, four, five, six different people that. Uh-uh, so I got one called... Uh, two and this is a Taurus, you guys. Maybe they have some Taurus placements, okay? Um, Taurus are ruled by Venus, all right. They have this, maybe okay, Taurus, okay. This is two, all right. I don't know when I see the two, I see partnerships. Like I said, this person is used to um, getting relationships, you know, getting into relationships or getting people to fall in love with them by, you know, the physical, all right. They're not. Uh, emotional base. I feel like that they're materialistic. Okay, because Taurus are are known for being a little materialistic. You know, if you're a Taurus, sorry, you know, I'm not coming for you, but don't get offended, Paul too. But yeah, some Taurus are known for the, the being, you know, really involved in a materialistic world. All right, they're all about the pinnacles, the money. Um, Big cars, big money. Maybe this person, like I said, they're all about sex, money, power, okay? They're used to uh, getting their way just by throwing some money, throwing some, you know, throwing their body at people. No, they're like, I, I bet I can get that person. I bet they probably had a whole uh, bet with their friends they can get you, you know? So be aware of this person. Ew. Yeah, I can, I can definitely get called too. And never have nobody like me. <laughs> okay, you guys. Okay, you guys. I got two of them. Okay, it's all my four. Okay. I think the last part was like fifteen minutes or something. I'm trying to keep this a little low, you guys. Um, yeah. This is uh, action, you guys. You got action. Yeah, your crush is trying to take action, or. You know, but let me not look at it in a, in a negative way, but this is how I'm getting it. You know, I don't mean to look at it in a negative way, but I'm seeing that I see this lefty Suzuli. And maybe, like I said, this person is, uh, like I said, they are used to going after love in a certain way or approaching a, per a person in a certain way. So they're, they're trying to use the same tactics on you. I'm not saying this is uh, wrong but or uh, they're wrong, but... Taurus is like a fixed sign, you know, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo, they're, they're fixed signs. And um, sometimes, you know, if you tell them something, you know, other than what they're used to, they get a little grouchy, a little, a little upset. And um, even though you may not be receptive to the way they're used to approaching people, they might still, you know, go about it like it's normal and, and you know, and still approach you in that way. Even if they know there's a, is a possibility that's not going to work on you, they're, they're, they're still going to um, approach you in that way. You know, they're still going to try it on you. This person is really stubborn. Okay, you guys, I'm just seeing that this person is stubborn. All right. And I'm looking at the slap piece of Zuli, and that is great for um, grounding the, uh, you know, the third eye. That intuition. They're not listening to their intuition, okay? I believe that you are a person of high caliber, okay? And this person is a little lower vibrational than you are. But, um, but yeah, they're not in tune with their intuition as much as you are. And they don't really, 
they kind of feel that this is not going to work. This approach to you is not going to work, but they're still going to do it anyway. They're just stubborn and just hard hitting. I'm going to do what I want to do because it works for me any other time. Who does this person think they are? Yeah. See, trust. Leap into the unknown. Have faith in you. Be move. Okay. Have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. Yeah. Maybe this person, like I said, they definitely trust um, their abilities. Okay. And what they have learned on the way. They trust that more than they trust their intuition. Um, so this person is going to come to you. Um, I don't know, maybe in, in a way that's going to really turn you off. I, I really don't think that you're, you're going to like this. All right. Or you're going to really like the way they are. Maybe you know who they are. Maybe you don't. Okay. But I feel like it's someone that you kind of know. I think it's someone you know. Someone you that you aren't really... Uh, attracted to, you know, usually attracted to. They're probably an attractive person, but I don't think you're going to be digging this person. How to? Let's get some tarot, okay? Let's get some tarot. I don't know how to. No, human type is great for uh, great thoughts, you know, thinking great thoughts. Maybe, like I said, this person is absolutely delusional. I found love. I found love in you. You're the one. <laughs> they probably try this, try this crap with everyone. Okay. Oh, too. I'm sorry that you you have you are you are attracting people like this. Okay. All right. I think I need. I'm gonna get one more. I feel like I want one more. No, spirit. Okay. No. I got nine of swords, you guys. All right. Your crush is definitely um this this is called I don't know. Okay, I'm 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 looking like this, okay. Paul two. Your crush is like going back and forth within their head about how they should approach you, right? Or because I, I feel like part of them kind of knows it won't work, it probably won't work because you're not what they're used to but they're still going to try it anyway i don't know if they're trying it because um it's all they know or they're trying it because uh they just don't give a crap okay like i said with the mind games the mind games is usually seven of swords but also a person who does things for you like uh come forward to you or engage with you and then pull back engage with you and pull back that can definitely cause you to be up in your head. I feel like this person is going to, is going to be a headache. They're going to cause you some type of stress. All right. It's a person that you, you don't even, like I said, not even usually attracted to. But in their hair, they're like, okay, I bet I can, I can, I can, I can book that person. I bet I can get that person. I bet I can get called too. I bet I can get them. Okay. Like, no. I do feel like this um, person that has a crush on you, Paul, too, is a person that you should avoid at, at all costs. I, I don't know why I'm really getting that. This is the FYF girl. So they come to you. Let them know right off the bat. This is a no-go. Absolutely not. Okay. So, yeah, Paul, too. I did not mean for it to be this short because, like I said, Paul 1 was a little long. Um, I had a lot of messages with that, Paul, but um, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't... Mm -mm. If you feel like this isn't your pile, please choose another pile, okay? You have pile one and um also pile three. I'm going to do pile three. Oh, yeah, pile two. I'm so sorry that you guys came for this because no, all right? So if you like this pile two, if it resonated with you in some way, if you know who this person is, please leave me a comment. Let me know, okay? I feel like it's like I said, someone that you kind of know. Um, someone who works with you. Because I'm looking at this Taurus. Yes, someone who works with you. Maybe your boss. Oh my gosh, maybe your boss. Okay, now I'm seeing it. Maybe some of you guys have a boss who likes to play mind games, okay? Who likes to play with your money. Who is like basically trying to make you feel like I own you, okay? Or, uh... No was trying to make it seem like if you sleep with them um they're gonna give you a raise or uh promote you or something like that no don't even do it you guys and they're like I'm, I'm hoping and wishing you know i'm gonna trust that what i'm seeing i'm gonna get my way with them absolutely not this person you guys 
it's just a no no so this could be your boss or someone you just worked with but it's definitely after all avoid okay so please avoid so pal too if you like this please hit that like button okay please comment you guys because your feedback is definitely welcomed and also subscribe you guys because you will get more pick a card videos like this one plus advice videos okay because i drop those every sunday and wednesday okay and if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these crystals, like hematite, okay, what was the other one? And like piece lazuli, okay? All right, to get you in tune with your intuition when it comes to these things, and to keep those thoughts clear, please check out my shop, and that is Heavenly by Goddess B, okay? And I will leave that link below this video, all right? So thank you, Paul, too. Until next time, bye. Okay, hi, Pal 3. Pal 3, this will be on who has a crush on you, okay? Who likes you, all right? So, you guys, I'm going to pull from my crystal deck to get their energy. And then I'm going to pull from my zodiac deck. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Just a moment. My, my son, I'm so sorry, Pal 3. All right, let me fix my baby. I am so sorry, Pal 3. So many distractions. My baby uh, hit his little head, okay? My four-year-old. Y'all guys know how four-year-olds are kind of come to me, okay? So I'm going to pull from this deck, you guys, with your energy. I'm going to pull from my um, Zodiac deck, my um, Unicorn deck, and a little bit of Tarot, okay? Yes, Pile 3. Your person, Pile 3, is a little softy. I'm definitely feeling that, Pile 3. They're hard or not on the outside, really hard on the outside. Like, oh, you know. <laughs> I don't know why Pile Threes are always so aggressive, you know. But they have the sweetest hearts. They're the only uh, really misunderstood people. Andy, yeah, right here. Pile Three, do you have a few? I don't want to keep pausing it. So my baby is driving me wild, okay? I don't give me a few, okay, Pile Three? Give me a few. All right. Okay, yeah, like I said, I have a little baby. Yeah, you're a person who has a crush on you, Pile 3. They're, they're babies. They're really uh, sweet on the inside. They're like sour patch kids, okay? And also, they like, don't like to open up about their feelings, all right? They're really closed off. Um, Pile 3, the channel song that I got for you guys was uh, Love by Rihanna. And uh, who is that future? I love your precious. I need love and affection. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah. Love and affection. Okay, you guys. So their energy is um, aqua aura quartz, all right? And this is great for the intuition. And um, I'm seeing the grains and I'm seeing the heart, okay? Maybe um, you guys, okay, this person knows that you kind of feel a certain way about them. Um, I think you know this person, and you do too, and I'm seeing the sixes, okay? They're in love with you, okay? This is a person who um, you probably grown up, you, you grew up with, okay? Um, maybe you guys didn't see each other for a long time, but I, I do feel like you guys know each other. I'm getting um, soulmate type of energy. All right, Paul Three. Like they show a certain exterior to the world, but to you, they show their real side, their really soft side, that loving side. Okay, they hide it away from everyone else but you. Okay, I'm seeing that, and um, I think you guys have really deep emotions for each other. Okay, but because they don't show it, because they feel like they have to uphold a certain uh. Uh, you know, persona for the world. They they really hold back on that, okay? And I'm thinking about this line. Okay, is it? I'm, I'm gonna give me a little bit, you guys. 
my foot. Okay, what is it? What is what is that line? Oh baby, I'm not asking for the world, maybe. You can give me one of them, baby. And some stuff, okay. Trying to save me. Give it to me on a daily. If I'm your girl, say my name, boy. Let me know. I make a show. We both grown, so how we feel, we can let it show. I okay, yeah, okay, yes, yes, okay. This person has a hard time getting past that persona, okay? That outside persona that they have built over uh, time, okay? Maybe you, like I said, knew this person since they were, uh, since you guys were kids. And um, you know the real them, but they have this persona they feel like they have to uphold, okay? And they kind of block off their feelings to everyone. They're like on autopilot. They're black, they feel their feelings off uh, to everyone, but... Um, you intuitively feel that um, their feelings for you is just as strong, okay? They want to have a person who wants to be in control, okay? They want to be in control of how other people view them. And um, sometimes when people think like this, um, you know, they, they want to be in control. Um, they have a lot about themselves they have to heal, okay? Yeah. They have trust issues, all right? Maybe they, they, they've been in love and have shown someone uh, their true feelings, all right? Um, and for some reason, the, the person probably was met with really negative, uh, a negative outcome, okay, or a negative reaction. Um, and here you go with Pluto, okay? Um, that's 22. That's the master number. Okay, so maybe this person is in um, a really, they have to be this way. This persona they have to uphold is because they have a really uh, high position in life, okay? They have a high position in life and they have to be that way. Um, yeah, their reputation is on the line. So if they show a lot of people, uh, you know, that softer side, that gentler side, they probably will think that they're going to lose respect, okay? They have to understand that vulnerability is um, not a weakness, okay? It's a strength to be able to still be this powerful person, but be balanced, okay? Balance. I see balance with this harmony, balance within your relationships, okay? Your personal life, your work life, being able to balance those things and not lose a sense of who you are, all right? Power three, they have a, they have a lot of, a lot of difficulty with that, okay? Balancing those things within themselves. They have to understand that how are they going to, you know, get to really know someone, okay? Or really develop that deep, intimate, um, you know, intimate relationships with other people if they're constantly worrying about how other people are going to view them or worried about um, their reputation, Okay. Because they're already powerful. I think that a lot of people do respect them. They're not going to lose anyone's respect by opening up, okay, to you or other people. Okay, maybe they, they're they like, you know, I, I don't want to seem more thirsty if I come at them. <laughs> If like they know I have a crush on them, I don't want to see more thirsty, like I'm chasing them. But you guys, you know, interact with each other, you kind of feel, um, you kind of feel that, this person feels the same way you feel, okay? Their, their, their feelings run really deep because I'm looking at this Pluto, okay? You guys, and the Pluto, I, I definitely seen Scorpionic vibes, okay? Scorpios have a hard time opening up, you know, allowing people to see who they are on the inside. Maybe they have a uh, Scorpio, Pluto, Scorpio moon, okay? All right, okay? And when you add this 22 up, it's four. That's about foundations, okay? foundations and um stability structure this person is very disciplined okay you guys i'm seeing boss i think some of you guys bosses uh has to have a thing for you okay um you guys check out how how to i don't know maybe some of you guys have two supervisors um or just someone of a higher position um, after you, two people, okay? Maybe you're the boss. They're afraid, like, oh my goodness, this person is going to fire my ass. <laughs> Paul three, you are, yeah. 
I can definitely see you being a cut or person. Maybe you, both of you guys are this way. You guys mirror each other. So I do see this 22, okay? That is mirroring. Okay, so I got one. Yeah, see you guys. Look, intuition. Remember? Remember? Yeah, trusting your intuition. You trust your intuition of this person. Um, you feel the same way about this person. This person kind of kind of knows it. But they feel like they can't really let you know and tell you because they have a certain uh, reputation to uphold. Maybe they're known to be, uh, like I said, a really cutthroat person or a person who uh, is not that mushy, you know, a bachelor. I don't settle down for anyone, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give it to me on a daily if I'm your girl. Yeah, say my name. This person likes to be in control, okay, Paldry? You have a person that is really stubborn, all right? But they're really intuitive, okay? They're really sweet. And it says, listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what. Or maybe this person, um, maybe you're, you're an intuitive person yourself. Maybe you are a, uh, you know, one of those spiritual healers, tarot readers and things like that. You say, I'm a witch. Maybe you think you're a witch. Or what they do for a living just doesn't, isn't going to match well with uh, what they're doing, okay? Because maybe, like I said, they're, they're basically a public persona, okay, in the professional business world, okay, the corporate world. And you're not, okay? But they're allowing um, you guys' differences to... Um, determine whether this is going to be and say if they approach you if this is going to be successful or not you, and you can't do that when it comes um, to these things okay so yeah yeah I'm so sorry pal pal uh three this is going to be a long video <laughs> I like to keep these under 15 minutes but everything that's been going on please I'm going to get a little bit of tarot, okay? Okay, pile three. Get some tarot to kind of see what's up with this person, okay? You're a very intuitive person. You both are, but you have a different way of, of going about it, okay? This crush, this crush is trying to suss you out. You know, that's what those Scorpios do. The situation, you know, because I don't want to make one stupid move. Yeah, both of you guys do love and affection, you know? I'm definitely seeing that this person is like tight-lipped ass. Tight-lipped, okay? I don't want to tell anyone nothing, you know? I better not get the high priest to order her for you guys. Something fell out. Okay, okay. Oh, wow, wow, <laughs> wow. Eight of Cups, okay? This person really is has a hard time opening up about their feelings, okay, you guys? Um... If they feel in any way that you are being too secretive, not not yet, okay, not not yet. Let me finish. No, let me finish. Okay, come here. Come here. I'm sorry, pile three. How you find it? Okay, pile three. This is my bull. Okay, yes, you guys can get something else too, pile three. They're trying to figure out. I feel like um, you would be a great fit to be um their long term partner. Um, if you are, are going to be a really great um, mother, okay, or parent, mother or father, maybe they're, they're trying to figure that out about you. Maybe this person spends time by themselves to try to um, make sure I like with you, okay? Because I'm seeing, the, like, accessibility, okay? The four and the six, all right? Harmony. Also soulmates. They're trying to figure out if, if this is going to last or not. If they feel like they... Um, can't trust you enough or they feel like something is off they they don't mind uh going back in and keeping their feelings to themselves okay they will definitely uh walk away from their emotions okay yeah this person is really closed off and have, has a really hard time opening up i don't know so if this person approach approach you try to be honest okay because I think this person has had their, their heart broken too many times, especially from other soulmates, okay, and people from the past, all right? And so they're in a, a, a transitional period right now of trying to uh, figure out what's what, who's who's, you know, and if they really have, uh, where their emotions lie, okay, where their, their heart lies. So, yeah.
They're really trusting their intuition when it comes to you this time, okay? Like I said in the past, they and I saw four four, uh, 4444, okay? Angel numbers. So yeah, like I said, you are a very spiritual person and so is this person. Um, definitely see counterparts, soulmates, all right? I'm not going to see twin flames because I don't think this is, but I mean, twin flames kind of do uh, marry each other, okay? But yeah, I see that both of you guys are like this, okay? But this person, is, is they have uh, trust issues, all right? So, I mean, I don't know. If you want to engage with this person, if you can handle this type of person, they're a really intense person, um, then engage, okay? I, I think you guys kind of know who this is. Probably, like I said, a person who you already met before. Uh, maybe a boss, one you met at work. But I'm definitely seeing a boss or a, 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 a you know, childhood friend, okay? So, yeah, pal three. I'm so sorry that this is a little long. 45, 45. I'm seeing synchronicities everywhere. And this is definitely a cue for me to just go. So that is who has a crush on you, uh, Paul 3, okay? A really uh, tight lip, tight fisted ass person. Want to keep their love to them, okay? So yeah, yes, Paul 3. If you like this, hit that like button, okay? If you would like to, please, you know, comment. Your feedback is definitely welcome. I apologize for the dis dis distractions, okay? And also, um, you guys subscribe, okay, so you can get more pickup card videos without the distractions, all okay? right? Like this one. <laughs> and um, advice videos, that is on every Sunday and Wednesday, okay? And that is on any topic, so definitely check those videos out, okay, you guys? Um, if you're interested in purchasing any, you know, crystals, you know, kind of like this, all right? Um, feel free to check out my shop, and that is heavily, heavily by Goddess B. I will leave in the description box below this video okay paul three so yes you guys thank you so much for joining me and if it just didn't resonate with you uh feel free to choose another pal okay so yes paul three mm -hmm. bye